in this video we're going to show you how to speed paint a fleshy accord army. Charm is here once again on the Tales of Sigma and can I just welcome you all back to the channel. If this is your first time please hit that like and subscribe button. Today we are going to be speed painting fleshy accord. So this little gruesome dude here or I should say Lord of Nobility because that's how deranged the flesh eaters are. We're going to be painting some of these up. It's a stupidly quick and easy scheme to do. Uh, this guy took me probably all of 15 20 minutes um, to do, so you can get a really quick army done. And he looks really cool once you get a full army, a full unit sorted. Um, so, in this video, we are going to be painting up both a crypt ghoul because you're going to be doing a lot of these for your battle line and also for summoning. And you're also going to be doing a crypt flare now. You can use exactly the same techniques on this. The main thing with the Crypt Flyer is we're going to be focusing on these wings because you can transfer this skill across to the Zombie Dragon and the Terror Geist. And no matter what size the wing is, the effect still looks awesome. Um, a bit like my Plague Bearer video, which I launched last week, I sprayed this in khaki. As I said in that video, it's an amazing colour to uh, put on f for flesh washes. And if we are doing flesh like we're doing for this scheme it is perfect for this um, you can get it from Halfords in the UK I'll put a link in the description for uh, the exact spray that I use if not and you just want to go down the GW route you can choose Corax white and then probably put a, a cover of Rakar flesh over everything just make sure everything is covered so it will give you exactly the same results this is just a little bit more yellow but uh, yeah, it's exactly the same. So what we'll do, we'll crack on with the very first step, which is a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade. So, like I said, what you want to do is take your Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm using a medium shade brush from GW. Um, you can use whichever brush you normally use for washes. And basically, we're covering the whole entire model. Um, you can cover everything. You want to get a nice thin coat. Just make sure it all settles nicely in the recesses. Um, you don't want anything pooling anywhere so after you do a certain section just make sure that none of it is pulled anywhere like that and just dab it off and away you go um all of these like the hairy bits just wash all of that as well it'll just give an extra bit of definition while you're doing it all um and you just want to cover the whole entire model including all the bone sections all of this because we're going to be highlighting up the bones afterwards so this is a nice Quick step, uh, quick step to get some shade in on your models. And once we've got all of this done, we'll come back on both models and we'll see exactly what it looks like. Once the wash has dried, which normally take about 20 to 30 minutes, these are what they look like. So as you can see, it's just highlighted all of the skin. Now we noticed the wings I've left because basically we're gonna be doing these in a blood effect, so it's pointless doing all the work to wash it all because it's going to get all covered up. Um, but the next thing we want to do is we'll be using GW Flayed One Flesh and we're going to be doing a dry brush over everything that is skin. So basically we're going to go all over the face, the arms, bodies, the legs. Um, the inside of the wing bits, like I said, the little spine bits, you can probably leave them, but hit these bits here. Like I said, all of this is going to be blood, so we can kind of leave this bit in. It, doesn't really matter if we don't get that hit but this will just kind of bring out that fleshy tone that we see in the other one there so it kind of just lightens it up gives it a bit more of a natural look um, and it will just kind of add that extra secondary color to the model so like I said you're gonna be dry brushing this on so like always I'm using one of my makeup brushes um, put the link to the ones that I use in the comments, uh, in the description, sorry. And basically just work it into the brush. Now with the makeup brushes, they do seem to hold a bit more paint, but that's not too bad because you do want that color showing up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, you just want to kind of lightly, again, that's probably a bit too much that I've put on there. So just work it into a paper towel again. And then for this, I can say just kind of trying to get all the higher sections you can see there on the rib cage exactly how you're doing it and yeah that's it's a nice quick dry brush 
anything like the uh, like this fur bit down here don't worry about trying to get that because that is again going to be a paint of uh, blood effect so it's not that bad if you don't get it I'm just getting it on just nice go up and down keep the same kind of motion that you're doing with a lot of dry brushes you can see people that go like this and then they start going like that if you do that it will just muck up a lot of the uh, kind of contours and the um, angles that you're already getting and just want to make sure that you get all in there you just want to make sure that everything's kind of highlighted giving that extra little bit of a color i know that with these models the wings do kind of cover up a lot of the mistakes but you still want to make sure that if you look at the model just from the tabletop that you can see that it's all got as you can see that has taken about a minute to do you've already got all of the colors that you need and it's highlighted all and the crypt goal it's even quicker these you can literally just do in a batch line and blast them out in one afternoon I've got about a hundred of these already painted up in exactly the same way and I think they took me about two days to do so I'm trying to get this army all sorted for when we launch the Tales of Sigma YouTube battle reports which will be happening in the next couple of weeks um, we're just trying to make sure that we've got as many armies as we can fully painted up and this is one of them so you can see it's just come off this improvised painting handle you can just see it's all picked it up you still got all of that uh the wash and shades but you've got that kind of deathly sickly beige color so once you're happy with that uh we'll get on to the next stage which is highlighting all of the bone so now that you've done dry brushing you've kind of done the skin which is a nice simple effective now the net main color we're going to be doing is all of the bone now the bone is one of the main things that you're going to get on flesh eater models on some models like this you've got all the bones coming out of here um you've got these talons that are on this section here um and that's probably about it really on the crypt ghouls they've always got a lot of them are holding bones they've got bones that are stuck to their bones there so it's just adding the extra color i mean on the crypt horrors that you've got here they've got bones everywhere so um it's the kind of color that keep it going all the way throughout and what we're going to be using for the first layer is Vallejo model color German camo beige World War II um, it's a nice just kind of khaki color and I'm using a uh, army painter basically a army painter regiment brush and we're just going to be covering every single color um, every single uh, bit that we need in this color so as you can see it just against that flayed one flesh that you've just put down you're literally adding this extra bit of a oomph to it and alongside the red it really works well so you just go around highlight all of these um anything like teeth in the faces i wouldn't worry too much about um because we're going to be covering all of this area with blood anyway so it's pointless doing all of the effects i mean if you want to and then add less blood effects then you can do um but i do think it kind of loses that they're meant to be mad cannibals so having as much blood as you can around it's just kind of adds to their emphasis bigger models like the terror geist and the zombie dragons you can probably do some of their fangs in this color um, because not all of them will be covered in blood but at the end of the day it's a speed painted army and you want it on the table so the lesser steps the better so what we'll do get through all of these um i'll keep doing that one just quickly do these like I said, it's literally you're covering everything. You're not worrying about shades because we're going to shade it in a minute with a uh, Smagrex Earth shade. Um, so what I'll do, I'll fill in all of this, and then we'll give them all a wash with Agrax Earth shade, and then we'll be back with the next colour. So now you've done the bone and you've done the Agrax Earth shade wash, and it's all dried. We're going to be using Vallejo Game Colour Bone White. Uh, so we're basically just going to be putting it on all of the bone sections that we've just washed but we're going to be doing about two thirds so from about there downwards all up there and in in the bits of the uh, bone the inner bits of bone it doesn't really matter because all of this flesh coming out of the skin is going to be bloodied anyway so just try and highlight as best as you can um i forgot to say for the crypt ghouls the wrappings around the 
that hold the bones in place. I've done the same colour as the bone itself and washed it. Um, we won't be putting a highlight on that just to keep it a little bit of a different colour. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm using just a GW small layer brush now. And all that we're going to do is, like I said, just, just look in the highlight about two thirds of it and the top bit. So you kind of keep the middle section the old colour. And this will just kind of break it all up, give it a bit of a whitish bone against the skin. Try and leave some of that uh, shade showing in the recesses where you can. So, and underneath as well. And that's it for him. It's a nice, easy bone technique. Like I said, this is speed painting, so we're not going in anything too crazy. The talons again, you're just going about two thirds down. And you just want to kind of make sure. Now, this can be a little bit thin sometimes, so if you're not entirely happy with it, after one coat, you can go back in and do a second coat. But what we'll do, I'm just going to highlight the rest of these go for all of this and this will be basically all the bone done and then we're just on to the bloodied effects and then the basing so as you can see we've only done a couple more a uh, couple of steps and we're almost finishing the model so you can see how quick this can be applied to the model so you can see you paint up there leave the bone there and then down on this bottom bit just going in around there just highlighting some of the higher areas if you can so I'll finish this off and then we'll get back on with the bloodied effect. So now the bone is done, you can see just gives it that extra bit of pop on the model. Same as this. And now we're going to go on to the blood effect. So there's two different attempt, uh, two different things we're going to be doing for the blood effects. For the hands and the face. So these bits here, we're going to be doing just literally blood for the blood god straight over the top. Um, for the extra parts, so any bits of these hair these hair bits here, where all the skin's coming out, we're actually going to base coat it first, and we're going to be doing that with Vallejo Whole Red. It's a nice kind of reddy browny colour. Um, it just gives this kind of good solid colour underneath for the blood for the blood god to shine through. Now for the Crypt Flayers, we're going to be doing blood for the uh, sorry Whole Red on all of these wings as well, um, and then like I said, it just kind of gives you that base colour. So what we're going to do is just Again, use your small layer brush for most of this. For the wings, you're probably gonna look for a bit of a larger brush, uh, but you just want to be highlighting all of this. And as you can see, it's a very dark, if you can see that there, it's a very dark red, almost kind of maroon color. Um, when you put the blood for the blood god over the top, it just makes it stand out a little bit. You don't have to go as thick. Sometimes you can find blood for the blood god goes uh, a little bit. Uh, translucent and you have to put on multiple layers this just kind of helps you if you don't get all the different layers on but yeah you just want to kind of base coat all of these and I'm do the bits underneath there and also the little bit between the legs as well and then for this section again you're going to be doing the this section here just highlighting all of this bit if you do miss some bits it's not that big a deal because like i said the blood effect will kind of cover up any mistakes that you make um, and these bits behind the legs as well you've got the bits of fur up there i'm also going to be going in there so for most of this like i said it's a small layer brush let's see if we can get that on the camera there you go i'm just going to paint into there if you do get a little bit on the actual skin that's not a problem because we're going to actually kind of overspread the blood anyway so the blood blood will be on this kind of extra bit of skin um, and then like i said the wings as well we're just gonna cover all of this if you can try and leave these spine bits free um i'm just gonna go all the way down and when you get down to the bottom bit you just want to be as careful as you can So I'll continue painting all of this 
and then we'll get straight in with the nice bloodied effect. And this is what the finished model looks like once the whole red has dried. Now I will admit the wings do take a little bit of time, they probably took me about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to do. Um, you could easily kind of cover up all where the wash went over, put Rakar flesh back on and then go straight into the blood for the blood god but yeah as you can see the whole red it's kind of quite a very dark brown with a teeny bit of red in but like I said this will help the blood for the blood god stand out so we're using GW technical paint it's one of my favorite paints to use um, there is Tamiya clear red as well I've never really used it um, but apparently it does the same but I always use this um, so start off with we'll do it on the ghoul first now we'll do it for the face and the hands you can literally just start dabbing it all on like I said these are cannibals so you kind of want them almost like they've been feasting all day already just dabbing it all on now you can go as thick or as thin as you want obviously on the face you don't want to cover up too much of the detail but you can see there it's kind of like they've been eaten um, now for the bones you could if you wanted to add some of the blood effects onto here it's just like they've just taken a bloodied trophy from their latest victim and then like I said the hair itself now because you've got this dark red you put it on it will look subtle it won't be as bloodied at as uh, bright as the others but it will still give that kind of shine if you can see that there that's what you're kind of looking for now you might not like this effect and you might want it to be as bright as you want um, that's completely fine instead of painting all of this whole red just leave it as it was and then just dab it on um, for example on these that's what it looks like you can see on the groin area and back of the legs I didn't put a whole red in that one. Um, you can chop and change. I mean, a few of them you might want to kind of have with the whole red, and some of the unit don't have the whole red. It's uh, completely up to you. You can kind of have it as dried in, but for the wings, it's definitely recommended because this is where you want that nice dark effect. As you can see there, just kind of paint it on a nice bloodied effect now if you do want an extra kind of vibrancy for it you could then wait for that to dry and go over again it will kind of give you a much thicker bloodied effect but like I said you've kind of got that nice shine again the face I probably put a bit too much on there but you can just normally pull away from it have it all nice and deranged um, you could put bits into here I prefer to leave just the wings as it is because this is normally enough and then the blood section in here where it's kind of the bones and the spine have been ripped out like I said you want to kind of go all the way up because this is meant to be like bloodied muscle and tissue so and like I said where the skin is torn you obviously want fresh blood as well so that's why if you go a little bit over with your whole red it's not a problem but got a nice little effect there so what I'm going to do finish this up get these based and then I'll show you the finished result for all of them and here are the finished results so as you can see the blood effect really stands out on the wings and across the bodies it really kind of brings the model together as I said with a speed painted army this took me probably 20 minutes at max uh, and probably 10 minutes so that was literally doing the base colors on the wings this is a quick effective way to get a fleshy core army on the table if you like this video and you want to see more please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to be notified when we put up more videos if there's any videos you want us to do let us know in the comments section below and i'm sure we'll get them done at some point but until then take care and we'll see you soon